Well, well, well. Look who it is. Jenko Flames back for NRL 2018. I'm so happy that it that it's NRL season again. It's it's been way too long without it. So the 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 uh, season starts in just under a month. The sixth of March. So yeah, let's get stuck in, shall we? And just oh, all I'm going to talk about right now is a ladder prediction, which I've got here on my Easter. If you're an NRL fans, you would get an Easter ladder with the chocolate and all that. So I've got one there. I'll read through that in a second. But for the moment, I'm just going to run through the few signings of the NRL season. The first one from the West Tigers moving to the Sydney Roosters. We have James Tedesco. Lightning quick fullback. He'll be a great addition alongside Latrell Mitchell, uh, Daniel Tupu, Blake, Blake Ferguson. You know, the basics. Um, and also our halfback for this year is Cooper Cronk from Melbourne to the Roosters. He, he will go well. I'm, I'm saying he'll go well. I'm hoping he does... I'm hoping he does well under, um, without his, without his buddies Slater and Smith, so that one could go either way, I, I really don't know, he's, he's got enough experience behind him to not worry about the others and just carry through, um, Luke Keary injured his jaw, will be out for round one of the season, so we'll have... Probably Mitch Cornish in 5'8 for the first few rounds of the season. A few, few other signings from the Roosters. One of our best forwards in Kane Evans. Very, very good forward. Um, so that one, that one's a big loss for, for the Roosters. A massive loss. So how well is that one going to go? Who knows? Hopefully it Hopefully it's alright. Um so yeah. Moving on. Josh Reynolds has moved from the Bulldogs to the West Tigers. Tigers will be a good side this year. They won't make the eight, but they'll they'll do they'll do decent. Um I'll just quickly go through these. Josh Dugan has gone from St. George to join Cronulla. That one is a good signing for Cronulla. He's a good centre. Anything, it could go either way. He sh he'll do good. Um, Mitch Moses has, was a mid-2017 mid signing from the Tigers to Parramatta. His defence was terrible. Any, any Para fan watching this can admit his defence was terrible. But over, over the season, he has slowly picked up and has gotten better. So he'll be one of the best for he'll be the best for five eights in the game. And to be honest, with um, Brad Fil Brad Fittler, the new uh, New South Wales coach, he's already got his hands on the Blues jersey. Mitch Moses, he just not needs to not get injured. Moving on, Kalen Ponga from the Cowboys has signed with the Knights. Another good signing. He's, he's a young gun. He's an up and coming young gun. Um, how well is it going to go? Pretty well, hopefully. Kieran Foran. The <clears throat> Any power fan won't be happy with Kieran Foran. Um, he has signed with the Bulldogs coming from the Warriors. If, if you're just watching this video because you want to get into the NRL, I'll quickly give you a rundown on why Parramatta fans won't be happy with uh, Kieran Foran. Kieran Foran left Parramatta um, complaining that he wasn't uh, performing well, that he, he needed time off for personal reasons, and he got those... He's, he got those... Parramatta was like, yeah, fine, we'll give you the... We'll give you a month or so off to go fight those mental demons and has come back and gone, oh, I wasn't 
I didn't need that. Um, and then I'm going to sign a contract with the Warriors. So, yeah, he signed a contract with the Bulldogs after going from the Warriors. So that's why Parramatta fans aren't happy with Kieran Foran. Um, Aaron Woods, Sharon Woods, Aaron, whatever. Uh, West Tigers, from the West Tigers, signed to the Bulldogs. So Bulldogs have signed a few players here and there. He's, yeah, he's, I don't know. I, I really don't know about him. He, he somehow man managed to find his way into a Blues jersey. He does enough. Will he do enough this year under the new coach? Will F Fittler want to bring in some new blood and have a team like Queensland have had for years on end that's just been unstoppable? Um, cry. Mitchell Pearce has gone from the Roosters to the Newcastle Knights. Newcastle Roosters, if you call them. Um, that That's only because we have signed Cooper Cronk. I would have loved to have seen Cooper Cronk and Mitchell Pearce work together, but that we will not see now. It's, it's a big shame. Also, Connor Watson, a Rooster, former Rooster, has signed with Newcastle. So we'll see Connor Watson and Mitchell Pearce line up again together. Um, Matt Moylan has gone from Penrith to Cronulla in in the halves pairing, which will be Matt Moylan and um, Trent Hodkinson, who was signed from the Bulldogs to Cronulla Sharks. Bryce Cartwright, Penrith to the Titans, and um, Aidan Guerra from Roosters to Newcastle. If I've missed any important signings, put them down below in the comments section. You don't normally do it, but do it. Um, so I'll move on to the ladder prediction. Um, yeah, the ladder prediction. I'll bring it closer to me so I can read this. I've got the minor premiers of the year, the Sydney Roosters, should do well with Tedesco, um, Kronk, all them, they should do all right. In second place, I have the Parramatta Eels. They have done well. They were unlucky to get beaten by the Storm. In third place, I have the Melbourne Storm. Fourth, the Penrith Panthers. Fifth, Cronulla. Sixth, the Cowboys. Seventh, Brisbane. Eighth, Raiders. So that is the top eight. That is my top eight. Hopefully, it sticks like that. I could. Uh, that looks like a pretty good eight right there. Um. And the bottom eight, Manly just missing out by a few points. Knights in tenth, they will not come last, but they will come. They won't come last, but they won't be in the eight. A lot of people are saying they will make the eight. It won't happen. So Newcastle in tenth, Tigers in eleventh, Bulldogs in twelfth, Warriors, Titans, Dragons in thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, and. Can anybody guess who the last team is that I haven't mentioned? Yep, our arch rivals, the South Sydney Rabbitohs. They, they didn't do all the, that's that's a tough one to pick right there. I really don't know, but Rabbitohs don't look all that good. Uh, Greg Inglis finally coming back from injury, so that one could go either way. But that's that's my ladder. That's my preview of round of 2018. I'm hoping it's a good year for all teams. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you sometime in March for round one preview. Have a good week. I will see you guys later. Chanko Flames out.